Hey my friends, this is Lay Boy Scout with a small selection of axes, hatchets, and tomahawks on the table today. Now, um, the question, the purpose for this video is related to the tomahawk here in the middle, which I just got. But while I'm at it, while I'm here, I'll also explain what else I've got. This is an old Collins axe. I probably picked this up from a, I don't know, a hardware store. Maybe it was Walmart. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I bought this. Not a very long one, just a one and a half pound, as you can see. Wrapped a little bit of tape around it to make it a little bit more comfortable. Plan on using this a little bit more in the near future. Um, Resharpened it. That edge is, eh, you know, I could make that a little bit steeper. However, it's sharp and it chops, so that's what counts. I'm going to use that in the future. I'm um, actually going to be making a sheet for that in a very near uh, video, an upcoming video. And actually, this is my Cold Steel Trail Boss, and this is kind of the type of sheath that I'm going to be making for the Collins Axe. I'm going to show you how I made this sheath. Um, yeah, tell you a little bit about that and describe the sheath in fuller detail. But that's uh, upcoming. This video is about the um, the Cold Steel Trailhawk. And for any of you, any of you Cold Steel Tomahawk owners, I, I want some feedback here. I want to know, well, obviously you can see this is brand new. It's still got the plastic on it, actually. I want to know if this is normal. I suspect it's not. I suspect it's not. You can tell that I've removed the set screw, which I have right here. I removed that because you know, I heard some advice that made a lot of sense to me that this is supposed to be a friction fit uh, axe head. It's supposed to fit by friction on this axe handle, right? This hickory handle. And that makes a lot of sense to me because in the field you might want to take it off you know, if you don't want to have a set screw there, have to deal with that and have to bring an Allen wrench, which is what that is, this little Allen screw, you can see that. You don't want to have to carry an Allen wrench around you, around with you. You just want to be able to take this off by yanking it off, right? It makes sense to me. So I removed the set screw, as was suggested, and now it won't stay on whatsoever. The simple problem there is that it's already been worn down far too much. You can you can see that very clearly. Okay, that hickory has already kind of been chewed up quite a bit. It came this way brand new, by the way. Ordered it off of Amazon.com. Very nice price. I think it was, I don't know, $26 shipped. That's awesome, man. Can't pass that up. But if I now have to send this back to Cold Steel to get it fixed or replaced or whatever, then that wasn't so worth it. Uh, anyway, um, just want to get some feedback from all you Cold Steel Tomahawk owners out there. All of you who own any variety of the Tomahawks that uh, all use the same hickory handle as, as, I, as I'm told, as I understand. Is this normal? Is this to be expected? If it is, I guess I'll deal with it. If it's not, I'm going to deal with it in another way by sending it back and it replaced, what have you. So please, some feedback from all you guys in YouTube land. Tell me what you think. Um, is that normal? What should I expect from my tomahawk? What? How did yours come? Video responses are more than welcome. Uh, this is the great thing about YouTube, about uh, this kind of medium, how we can actually share and show rather than just tell, you know? Rather than just talk about it and maybe show photographs, I can actually take a nice video of it and actually show you what's going on. Really nice. So I'd appreciate it uh, if you'd give me some feedback in the comments section and uh, video re responses, of course, as I said, more than welcomed. Thanks very much. I'm the late Boy Scout looking for help with my Cold Steel Tomahawk. We'll see you later.